welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I have a video full of daisies for you, so I hope you stick around and enjoy it. But first of all, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda, and if you're returning, welcome back. You know I love you. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm going to use this decal I created with my Cricut. I'm going to use my Waverly Chalk Paints in the color Maze and Snow White. I'm going to use this DecoArt Americana Decor Chalky Finish Paint in Colonial. And then I do end up using six of these three inch wood rounds. I think I might have got them on Amazon. It's been a while. I've had them in my stash. Then I'm going to use a whole bunch of zip tie ends. Now, call me a hoarder but every time I cut off a zip tie I keep those ends <laughs> and then um, three of these wood uh, pieces from Dollar Tree so I put those three wood planks together and I'm just adding them by uh, using these giant or jumbo craft sticks from Walmart and I'm adding wood glue and hot glue to keep them attached and then after that I decided to fill in the holes with spackling and then after that was all finished I painted those little wood rounds with the maze I painted the zip tie ends with the white and I painted my background with that blue color once it was all dry I took my little zip ties now I have to be honest I didn't have enough so I ended up having to cut some of my regular zip ties I hated doing that but this is what I did <clears throat> I took my zip ties here and I just hot glued them together like you see like the awareness ribbon and then I put hot glue on those ends and connected them to the back of my yellow wood rounds and um I'm just going to continue to do that. And I think I had like 10 all the way around them. And this really was easy. I, I was actually kind of surprised at how easy it was. Uh, but once I had it all done, I was just like, you know, I just feel like it would be better if I added some more wood rounds to the bot to the back. And this is where I got the other three and did them. But I'm just going to use my hot glue here and I'm just... Um, I painted just the edges of one side because I just thought in, if you see the back, you might see the edges. So that's why I only painted that side. And then I went to go hot glue this and then I thought, oh, some of these are kind of long. I'm going to snip them off. <laughs> and then after I snipped them off, I got, grabbed my little piece again and I didn't pay attention. And oh, then I ran out of glue. So I had to add a glue stick and I still didn't pay attention and I hot glued the wrong side. And I went to go put it on. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> so I scraped off all that glue and glued the painted side onto the back. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> Anyways, after they were all done, I took my saying here and I'm just going to put it on the top of my sign and um sorry I am answering a text message from my niece <laughs> um after I had that on I took my wood glue and hot glue and I started adding my little flowers now I did this very easily if you I wanted you could very easily add like a second row like make those um zip ties a little smaller and then add a second row behind them with bigger ones it might make them look a little fuller but I just did it this way since this was my kind of my trial run but anyways after I had them on there I remembered I had this yarn or I mean this ribbon I think I got it from oh man you guys I don't remember I can't tell if it's from Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree but I'm just going to hot glue the ends to the back there and just run them along the side of my picture. I just thought it just gave it a little extra something. And after that, I just added a hanger with some jute twine on the back. And there it is. I absolutely love the way this came out. I hope you do too. Let me know in the comment box below what you think of this.
Okay, I just want to thank all my wonderful subscribers. You guys are the best and uh, you just mean the world to me. And if you're new here and you enjoy home decor on a budget, I would invite you to hit that subscribe button before you go. It costs you nothing and it means the world to me. And then make sure you guys give me that thumbs up and comment and watch those ads. That really does help support my channel and get it out for more to see. And then if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find the links to my social media accounts as well as my affiliate accounts in the description box below. DIY number two. Oh my gosh, you guys, I absolutely love this one. I am going to use one of these crates from Dollar Tree. These flowers I got when they were half off at uh, Hobby Lobby, those da daisies. Another one of those three inch wood rounds. And then another decal I created with my Cricut. And then this beautiful napkin I got from my favorite place, decoupagenapkin.com. Oh, I just love it. And then this wood flower from Dollar Tree. And then after that, I'm going to use my Waverly Chalk paints in the color Maze and Snow White. So I'm going to paint off the flower and the crate with the white and then that round with the yellow. After it was all dry, I took my Mod Podge and I just covered the front of my um, flower with all of that Mod Podge, just giving it a good coat all over and then after that I set it aside to dry. Oh my goodness, do you see me fling that Mod Podge onto my table? <laughs> then I took my decal and I'm just gonna put it on top of my yellow round here. And it says happy as a daisy um, because you know, like in the movie, uh, you've got mail, uh, the daisy is the happiest flower, right? <laughs> So I'm removing the two plies behind this napkin. My flower was dry, the Mod Podge was dry, and I'm just gonna lay this napkin over my flower here. And I have to hold it down because my ceiling fan was on. I'm blowing it all over. I take my parchment paper, this is just the regular parchment paper you use in your kitchen, and then I'm just going to use my heat press to um, reactivate that Mod Podge so the napkin will stick to it. And I have found that this is the best way to not have wrinkles. I absolutely love using this technique. Then I just took my scissors and just kind of went around and um, cut off all that extra napkin. And then I just recovered it with some more Mod Podge. That way it protects the napkin. Once it was done, I took my finger sander and I sanded off all the rest of that extra that was there. Then I took my wood round here and I'm just using hot glue and I'm just gonna glue it right to the front of my daisy. Oh, I just love this one. Then I did my usual thing. I took this braided jute cord. I have it on in my Amazon store. In fact, I think I'm gonna have to order more soon. And I'm just gonna hot glue it all the way around that daisy. I just feel like it gives it just a finished look. And I just love uh, covering things or covering the edges of things with this stuff. But once I was done with that, then guess what I did? Because I'm just like, I really love the way this looked. You know what? I think I'm going to love it around the daisy as well. So I'm just going to take my hot glue again, and I'm just going to go wrap it around my daisy. And I just went all the way around it. I did have to use my little uh, rubber spatula or silicone spatula to kind of get the, the uh, cord to go down into the groove. But that was it. And then I took my crate here and I'm going to use some wood glue and some hot glue and I'm going to attach it to my sign or to my daisy, just like you see. Now, after that, I added um, some, what is that? More floss or floral moss, no, floral foam. Oh my goodness. Then I... Um, I decided I wanted some of the trim of that napkin because I loved it. So I added some Mod Podge and I was being impatient. So I'm using my heat gun to dry the Mod Podge. Not a good idea because watch what happens. So I'm playing around saying, okay, I'm going to add my Mod Podge because that, I mean, my trim of the napkin because the Mod Podge is dry. So I get done and I go to move it and look, it comes off. It's because I used heat, dummy. Heat melts hot glue. <laughs> So I'm like, oh, well, I'll, I'll re-glue it. Now, to be honest, this was the second time because I, when I, right after I first added the glue to it, I moved it and for some reason I did something and it knocked, came off. So then I glued it and it was 
crooked. So I was kind of happy that this happened because then I could fix it. But as you can see, I decided to take a daisy that I had and that I got in a bag from Amazon and I hot glued it to the middle of that napkin of, in the middle of the crate. And then I'm taking some more of this cord and I'm just framing that napkin with it. I just thought it covers the rough edges and it just it gives it that finished look. I absolutely love this. I probably should have made this my number one on this video because I love it so much. But anyways, I hope you guys love it as much as I do. So I took some of these daisies. I'm just cutting them down and just sticking them in my box. And I think that's all I did. And I, like I said, I absolutely love the way this came out. I absolutely love that napkin. I think it is so pretty. And when I saw it, I was just like, oh my gosh, I've got to get this napkin. It's just beautiful. And I love daisies and blue together. So anyways, there it is. You have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, so it is a time for a celebration of your recreations. And Kathy sent me this bee and honeycomb wreath form. She did an amazing job. They look awesome, Kathy. Thank you. And then Dusty, she has been busy. Look at her beautiful little 4th of July display there. And that sign was just beautiful. If you guys have a creation or recreation that you would like me to showcase for you, you can send pictures to my email address that's listed there or you can send them to me through Facebook Messenger or Instagram and I'd be more than happy to showcase them for you. Okay so on to DIY number three. Okay so <laughs> I love this one too. Um, I'm going to use another Cricut decal that I created. I'm going to use some little daisy buttons I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to use this same paints, um, this colonial blue, my maize, my white, snow white, and then the ink by Waverly. I'm going to use some tumbling tower blocks here. And then I'm going to use that little love bug that I got from Dollar Tree. I saw that and I just thought, oh my gosh, that is so cute. And I knew right away what I wanted to do with it. Um, and then this sign. So I am going to start off by taking some painter's tape and I'm just trimming off the edge because I am a very messy painter. I know I've told you guys this a million, million times. You saw by my technique with that Mod Podge flinging it, <laughs> that's about what happens with my paint. And then I painted the middle with that blue and then once that was dry, I painted the edge with white. And so once it was all dry, I took some spackling here and I'm filling in the holes of my little love bug. And then I am going to very, very carefully take this brush and I'm trying to be really careful that I don't get yellow on the fenders. Um, and I did a pretty good job. I think I had a few just teeny spots, but I, I went really slow. I have this really sped up, but I painted the whole car with my yellow. <clears throat> and then once I was done with that, um, you guys, this was really slow because, yeah, <laughs> it is probably a good thing. I took my white and I painted the fenders, fenders, right? Yes, fenders. And once I had both fenders painted, I'm going to take that white and I'm going to paint the middle of the tires, that part that my thumb is holding right there. And I can't believe I showed you this much painting. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I normally don't show you that much painting. Okay, and then the here I'm doing the middle. So after those were dry, then I took my ink and I went around and painted the tires. And I'm just trying to be as careful as I can be, going as slow as I can to tr not get black. I got just a teeny few little spots that I ended up touching up. But I was pretty proud of myself because normally I don't do that good. If I don't tape things off, ugh, it's a mess. So <laughs> after those were dry, I took these buttons and I'm just taking my um, wire cutters and I'm cutting that plastic piece off the back. And then I'm just using hot glue to attach them. I had them all laid out to how, to how I wanted them. And I originally was going to paint daisies, but then I remembered I had just gotten these and I thought, oh, this would be perfect. So then I felt like it just needed a little something more. So I'm taking the back of a 
paintbrush and I'm just dipping it in my white and making just a few polka dots all around. Normally I go crazy with the polka dots, so I was trying to be really careful. Then I'm gonna add this decal. Now, I know I already said crazy as a daisy, or happy as a daisy, and I know crazy is spelt wrong with the K, but my husband is a goofball and he's always saying crazy as a daisy. And he, he always says it with these crazy eyes. So I had to make it a little goofy. So that's why I did it this way. I love my husband, he makes me laugh. So I took these tumbling tower blocks. Now, when I got uh, my recent boxes of tumbling tower blocks, some of them were natural color and some of them were that brown, which I thought was kind of cool. And I knew you wouldn't be able to see them. So I just went ahead and used those brown ones and I'm just using some hot glue to attach my car to it because it didn't completely fit in that frame, but I just thought it would be perfect kind of standing out from it. Then I took some of these tumbling tower blocks and I'm hot gluing them together. <clears throat> and I, I painted them white first and then I hot glued them together. Then I'm using my wood glue and my hot glue to attach this to the back of my sign so it will stand, but it didn't want to stand. It kept going forward. So I took a few more uh, tumbling tower blocks looks like maybe five of them and added them to the back and then it stood. I did end up painting that white afterwards. Then I took some more of these daisies that I get from um, Amazon and I'm just hot gluing them into the corner of, I probably should have just stopped at this, the top because the bottom ones look a little funky. But anyways, I love this. You'll, of course it makes me think of my husband so I love it even more. But you'll have to let me know what you think about it as well. Okay, DIY number four. You guys, this one doesn't have any blue. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna use my Snow White by Waverly. I'm gonna use this huge Gerber Daisy I found at Dollar Tree. I just loved it, I had to get it. I'm going to use some wood letters that I got from Hobby Lobby. They come in like a two pack. And then I'm taking this Daisy Burlap from Dollar Tree. I just love this burlap. And then I'm gonna take this wood canvas that I get in a three pack from Hobby Lobby. I always get it when it's on sale. So I start off by painting the letters and that uh, wood, what did I say it was called? Anyways, I painted it all white, <laughs> oh my goodness. Ugh. And then once it was dry, I'm taking some tacky glue here. Now I kind of wish I would have just used hot glue. I'm, I'm going down and just, tacking that all into that glue. It does set, it takes it a little bit to set, but the fact that this stuff is, when you unfold it, it is wrinkled. And so I was trying to pull it tight and see how it was coming off. And that's why I was like, why didn't I just use hot glue? But I got it to work. I just kept playing with it until I got it to be as tight looking as I could get it. And then, um, then I finished. So then I took, this flower, I cut the end off of it and I'm just laying out my letters where I want them. Wood canvas, that's what it's called. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. I am just going to use hot glue here and I figured that if I use a lot of hot glue, it's gonna seep into that burlap and help attach the burlap to the wood canvas as well. And then I hot glued the flower and did the rest with the rest of the letters here. I know that flower, that daisy is a little bit big probably for those letters, but I still love the way this came out. I Now I wish I would have added a little blue to the edge of my frame to match my, you know, everything, but that's okay. It still looks great. So then I took some of this core on uh, this braided jute ribbon that I get from Dollar Tree, or sorry, Amazon, and it's in my Amazon store as well. I'm about to, or well, out of these again. Um, but I love this stuff too, and I'm just gonna go and just cover up the edges of my uh, burlap, because I didn't cut it straight. Um, so, you know, I, my first thought was I was gonna have it look, um, rough on the ends, you know, frayed is the word I'm looking for. But then I just thought, you know what, I love the way this looks. I'm going to uh, add this to to the, uh, the, add this trim around it. Then I just felt like those, the E or the um, white was too stark on these letters. So I took a paintbrush, a very small paintbrush with my maze, and I'm just going around and making stitch lines all the way around it. After that, I just took some, twine and tied knots on the end and stapled them to the back of my 
whatever. Then my wood sign. <laughs> I don't know why I keep forgetting what that wood canvas because it doesn't make sense to me that they call it canvas but that's what they call it anyways there it is you have to let me know what you think about that one as well and here is your final reveal thank you all so much for joining me today and again if you are new here please hit that subscribe button before you go if you enjoyed today's video and make sure you guys give me that thumbs up and comment i sure appreciate it and with all that i will be back again on saturday with another fun farmhouse video i can't wait for you to see what i made and with all that, you guys have a blessed week and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.